it is important that you know what to do when your baby is teething. In this video, we will talk about teething. What are the ways to ease your baby's teething pain? What meds are okay to give? What are the side effects that come with teething? And what should you watch out for? Hey there, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat, board certified pediatrician, and my mission is to empower moms and dads to help you raise happy and healthy kids. <coughs> teething. Signs that your baby is teething, well, occasionally you would note mild irritability, baby crying a lot, some low-grade fever, although not higher than 38.3 degrees Celsius or 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Baby might also be excessively drooling, there is a desire to chew on something hard, and take note, the gums appear uh, swollen or tender where new teeth is about to come out. To help ease your baby's teething pain, you can offer chew toys. Those made of plastic or rubber are great for soothing your baby's achy gums. Take note though that teething bracelets or necklaces made of amber, wood, marble, or silicone, well, these are choking hazards and the FDA warns against their use. Another thing to help ease your baby's teething pain, you can offer something cold to help numb and ease your baby's ache and inflammation. What you can do is you can try a damp washcloth that is twisted and frozen. Although, try to avoid teething rings that are frozen because they are too hard for your child's mouth. To also help your baby's teething pain, you can also do a massage. A light, gentle rub can give your baby some relief. Remember to wash your hands, of course, then massage the sore areas in your baby's mouth using your finger or knuckle. Hey there, are you expecting a baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival, where you immediately feel confident about breastfeeding your baby, or to understand your baby's sleep schedule so you can better take care of your baby and yourself, or you know how to deal with a crying, fuzzy baby. How much better life can be when you have the training available at your own home I've developed an online training video series known as the five newborn care strategies. Do check that out in the description section. How about medications? Well, pain relievers which are intended to be rubbed on baby scums are not very helpful. This is because baby drools a lot so the medication is quickly washed away. In addition, such medications may numb the back of the throat of your baby and may interfere with swallowing. If your baby is really uncomfortable, talk to your pediatrician about giving a dose of acetaminophen or paracetamol. Also remember, numbing gels that contain benzocaine are not recommended for infants. Are there side effects of teething? Well, as your baby's teeth are coming through, some babies might have a slight increase in temperature, but it's not higher than 100.4 Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. If temperature is higher than that, then let your pediatrician know about it because your baby might be sick with something else. Now, if baby has a fever, vomiting, or has diarrhea that comes with teething, let your pediatrician know about it because your baby might have a medical condition that needs treatment. Then how about teething necklaces and beads? The FDA or Food and Drug Administration has released an official warning after getting reports of children choking on the beads that break off and an 18-month-old who was strangled to death by an amber necklace while taking a nap. The risk is twofold both strangulation and choking. Strangulation happens when the necklace is worn around the neck unsupervised, such as when the child is sleeping, or choking when the beads are broken off and the child swallows the beads. And this is not only true for teething necklaces. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that infants should not wear any jewelry. 
suffocation is the leading cause of death in children less than a year old and one of the top five causes of death in children aged one to four. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.